What's up everyone, this is Ryan here, the Crypto Grinder, and today I'll be bringing you the top altcoin picks a little bit earlier than usual, but I think today is a great day for shopping and of course adding on to your portfolio. Now, if you've been watching my videos and really creating a good portfolio, naturally yesterday will not have been such a bloodbath for you. But if anything that was below 200 million, basically you would have experienced at least a 35% pullback for sure and it and it started on Thursday. Now, I think a lot of my uh a lot of my chat, you know, knows my stand about diversification, right? When I create a portfolio or when I suggest about creating a portfolio is not a diversification within cryptocurrencies alone. I look at other assets as well. I look at other instruments as well. So, for example, gold. Okay? So, gold currently now based on the 5-year chart looks very very attractive okay um, and I think picking it up at the round now or at least the 1157 US dollar per troy ounce is actually a good price to pick it up at okay so please consider picking up some gold we need to prepare for you know the inevitable uh, you know market global crisis or war or whatever it's always good to have right if you have everything in one particular uh, asset say it's the stock market or into bonds all right that is that is obviously risky if if well if you know how to move from from one asset to another that's because probably you have uh you know goldman sachs advising you on your portfolio but if you don't suck it up try to diversify try to make sense of the market or at least be be having be having a very consistent take profit strategy so as long as you're moving with money that is Moving in this market with money that you have profited from, I think it's okay to take a hit. But at the end of the day, if you're getting started, you're very new, you really need to try to spread your eggs out, right? Don't put everything all in one basket. So that being said, okay, so go. Let's look at silver. Now, silver had a flash crash yesterday. Um, but overall, I think silver, it's, it's already at the support line, okay? And, um, you know, you can pick some silver up. We are looking at uh, silver prices at the moment. I would say picking it up at, yeah, like anywhere now would be good. So 15.8, 15.8, 15 15.62 currently per troy ounce, right? 15.62 US dollars per troy ounce or 500 and, uh, 502, 502 US dollars per kilo. That's excellent, guys. I mean, pick up some silver, man. I mean, silver and gold... Um, either way, it's fine. Uh, whether you're doing physical or digital, I think physical. I, I'm I'm a I would prefer the physical compared to the digital. But digital is more accessible to more people, right? So, um, depending on the brokerage and make sure, making sure that the brokerage is able to pay when, especially when times are bad or you know they have a good uh, reserve available and you know people can capitalize because. You never know when there's uh, a market crash whether or not you can take profit on your digital. That is that is something that you know remains a, remains a question, right? So always you know look at uh you know a, a mixture of physical and digital you know and then you you mix it up in your portfolio. But nonetheless, always still have it. I think for for the time being, same thing. Go, um, look at ten to fifteen percent uh every month or every quarterly, depending on on your depending on your take profit strategy, right? And if you're an active trader, I think it's even it's always good to build up some gold reserve. If you're active every month, right? If you're an active trader, if you're a pot, if you're looking into portfolios, every quarter would be good. All right, then set aside any kind of profits that you have behind. Um, take some off whatever uh whatever market. Say the cryptocurrency markets are running hot, um, and they've run hot for some time. As you can see, currently now they are range bound take some profits right if you were in before march for example you should be you should have taken some profits along the way and of course reduce your uh initial capital exposure right and if you can you want if you want to but if you're new and you're stepping in you have to reverse meaning that you probably want to start buying cryptocurrencies um with 10 to 15 percent of your investable capital and not throw the lump sum in like right now, I'm advising clients who are stepping into the cryptocurrency, uh, uh, into cryptocurrency. They are looking at building a portfolio. So naturally, I don't advise them to, you know, if they are coming in with a lump sum, I'm not asking them to buy. Like, let's say if they came in with a hundred thousand, then that hundred thousand is gonna no. 
I'm always advising them to come in maybe with 10 to 15,000 and spread out amongst coins that we can recommend based on their risk profile and basically what is their overall strategy. This is how you should be approaching your portfolio as well. Okay, so with that being said, um, of course, let's look at some uh, economic data. So yes, we have uh, basically NFP, non-farm payrolls uh, up. Basically, they added 222,000 jobs in June. Okay, that's a positive for the market. Stock markets are still buoyant, guys. Overall, I don't want to go through that. That's going to be too long. So let's go to the cryptocurrency market. So um, we are currently standing at, <clears throat> at 91.8 billion. Um, yeah, so looks like it's going to probably retest the support level of 800 and, uh, uh, sorry, 88 billion. Okay, so let's pull out the, let's see whether one month. Okay, so the one month, the support level was, yes, uh, uh you know, we really need, to, okay, uh, 88.5 billion. Okay, that was the, the low on June 27th. Uh, obviously looks like it's gonna retest let's let's see if it if it breaks okay uh the next the next support level will be at 75 this would be this would be very obvious okay so as you can see uh, uh I would say that yeah 77 75 would be the next support level okay 75 billion would be the next support level this is huge by the way this drop if from 89. 88, 89 to 75, it's quite a big drop. Okay, guys, so be prepared. Like I said, enter this market in, in you know, literally with batches. Okay, it, it doesn't get more clear than that. Okay, so now we'll top altcoin picks. So, uh, Ethereum. Now, Ethereum has already lost literally 36, 37% of its value from the high. I think we went all the way to 400 plus. Now we're down. Um, yeah, so straightforward at this level, pick up some Ethereum. Uh, I have not drawn my chart, so you need to probably take note. So 0 0.094 would be a good price to enter. If you're going to be a little bit more conservative, then 0 0.09179 Satoshis. Okay, FBTC. No time for the US dollar tether side, guys. Okay, just uh, figure it out on your own. Uh, ETC, BTC. Currently now ETC is taking a hit. Uh, you know, Q at probably conservatively at this level, uh, 0 0.00606868, ETC, BTC. Okay, it's falling off a cliff, but however, you know, just pick some up. It's always good to have some ETC. Trust me, uh, in after the moment Emerald is full beta, things will, will look a little bit better and this whole whole thing is all nonsense. Okay, uh, end of the year, you're going to have the full hard cap. Uh, sorry, not the full hard cap. Uh, you're going to have uh, a change of the block reward uh, end of the year. And at the same time also, there will be more dApps that are going to be developed on Ethereum Classic. That is something that uh, I look forward to. Also, if they implement um, ECIP, right? ECIP is uh, ECIP 1025. That's also just uh, including a little bit of anonymity when you perform smart smart contracts. So looking forward to that. Um, hard cap is not officially implemented yet, guys. The hard cap was announced in March, but it's not officially implemented. So meaning that the moment they bring the hard cap protocol to mainnet, which is to cap it to 230 million, that's when you'll see probably a boost. Because right now, all these for now, uh, ETC is still uh, inflationary, meaning that it still uh, doesn't have a cap yet. The moment that it has that hard cap of uh, 230 million, that's when you probably will see a little bit of a bounce. Um, I see Ethereum Classic at least ending off the year in the high 20s to $30 at least. Okay. Now for Ethereum, sorry. Okay, let me let me go back to Ethereum. Ethereum is a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit tricky because Metropolis is next year, okay? Metropolis is next year, proof of stake. Um, you know, it's going to get very, very interesting for the concept of proof of stake on Ethereum. Proof of stake is probably not not uh, not new to the newer cryptocurrencies that have already have uh, proof of stake. For example, uh, delegated proof of stake like Lisk, uh, BitShares, and, um, and ARK. All use delegated proof of stake. So... 
I guess when you talk about proof of stake, to me as an investor, okay, I'm not looking at a programmer perspective. I'm looking at it as an investor. If I put my money down and stick it on the network, I am going to be rewarded with uh, transactional fees as my reward, okay? Because I'm staking, that's going to be the one that is going to validate the transactions. The, the amount of coins that I stake on the network is going to give me a return. I think that's a good play. It's kind of like dividend as per se. So after receiving the minor fees, depending on how the network wants to uh, assign the, uh, I think uh, how you how you assign how much minor fees and rewards you're going to get, a portion of that is going to get burnt. And so it reduces the overall supply of tokens in the market, which is cool. I want to see how that all plays out. But like I said, everything is all usually in alpha or beta. We are just speculating as of now. So whatever that I'm recommending is also based on speculative um, news and so on and so forth. But there's no products for the end user as of now. So let's let's not bullshit ourselves. Whatever we are investing in is high risk. Okay, so next. Um, ETC, I've already given you the levels. Now let's look at LTC. Right, LTC was a call that I made way down here. All right, you can look look and refer back to my top altcoin videos. Uh, you know, I clearly been pushing, pushing, pushing LTC. Um, everyone in in my group is all happy because I was you know literally getting ridiculed from from all the way from say here all the way and nothing happened. Suddenly, boom! Everyone started to make anywhere from thirty five to forty percent. Okay, so now LTC, <clears throat> LTC. Uh, you know, guys, uh, aggressively pick some up at zero point zero one seven eight. Since it already sold down from the high, this is the cup and handle. Now, uh, conservatively, for folks who are a little bit more conservative, not too anxious to step into the market, I would say a good level would be 0 .0, 0 .0, 0 0.0.0.0156 Satoshis. Okay, that's on the BTC. So aggressive will be literally 0 0.0179. 0 0.0179. Then aggressive will be, <clears throat> sorry, conservative will be zero. Ah, shucks. Sorry, give me a second. 0 0.01, 0 0.0, 0 0.0162. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now Stratus. Now Stratus, I've been discussing with. Oh my God, am I lagging again? Okay, for Stratus, this is all on bit tracks, guys. Okay, just for simplicity. Stratus has fallen off a cliff. As you can see, I've always been avoiding Stratus because it was way overbought, way overbought, okay? Currently now, it's worth the look. It has fallen like, uh, you know, it literally has fallen. Now, Stratus, of course, I understand is blockchain application, B2B, uh, you know, B2B, uh, it's B2B advisory, you know, and it's closed source. So they would help companies to adopt the blockchain uh, to adopt blockchain uh, technology or blockchain applications, okay? So, um, of course, naturally, they have bigger partnerships in uh, potentially because I think they would advise on probably private blockchains and so on and so forth. So, yes, uh, do consider Stratus at this current point. You can pick some up if you like. Um, it literally has had this whole candle been eaten up, this whole strong candle eaten up. Yeah, pick some up. Guys, now is good. Or if you want a level, 0 0.0165, 0 0.00165 for Stratus. Pick some up. Doesn't matter. Don't expect here, please. Just pick some up so that you can be invested in Stratus. Now, the other one, the opposite of it is LISC. LISC is open source, on the other hand. More organic, going to be very community-based. This also took a, a, a huge hit. Now, same thing. Uh, you can decide to pick some up at now, like literally below the 9,000 Satoshi mark. Now, of course, could you wait? Ryan, you're telling me to buy. Could you wait for a consolidation? Yes, I always encourage people to wait for a sideways consolidation at a new level, a new low, and then make a decision. You can do that as well. But I think being that there could be some kind of bounce that you can take advantage of, just pick some up. If you're new, looking at watching this video, I say so, pick some up. LS, LSK, BTC, uh, this current price, you see, that's the problem. You see, there was no uh, previous price point that we can refer back to. So we're looking at one day, ch one day candles, by the way. Okay. So if we pull back a little bit, say three days, see, so it, it went to the, it broke the all time high, came back down aggressively. So if you want, 
And if you're very new and want to be a little bit conservative, 79,500 Satoshis. Okay, you may or may not get it, but 79,500 Satoshis is a good mark. If you don't, you can just pick some up right now. Okay, now the other one is ARC. Now notice that I'm little, getting a little bit more aggressive in terms of my calls. So ARC is a, definitely a very new project, started out on the 21st of March this year, uh, 20th of March this year, and now currently it has, uh, you know, literally sold down. But I think I've been doing a little bit of research on ARC, not a little bit, quite a bit of research on ARC, and it's a smart, uh, smart bridge technology. Now, what's the smart bridge technology? Okay, smart bridge technology enables interchangeable uh, uh, notifications or actions, like trigger actions. So that means meaning that if I was to be able to, if I was on ARC, uh, I can actually control uh, or at least perform certain actions for my own, uh, you know, wallets or whatsoever or smart contracts from my ARC uh, platform. That is what I understand. Also, they have a delegated proof of stake. Now, this smart co I think this smart contract is pretty good because uh, this smart bridge co uh, technology is pretty good because it may seem very ambitious because you are allowed... Okay, that means meaning that blockchain must allow uh, Arx, Arx, uh, Arx language or Arx protocol. Okay, this is a programmer site. Please help me out. So basically, it's like, for example, how I interpret it is that if I'm in Spain, I don't, I don't speak Spanish. I need to get my message across. So if I need to get my message across, I have to have a translator of some sort. So it's either a device or an actual person translating so that the message can get across. So that say I wanna order uh, I wanna order something, right? I must have a translation device to to relay the message and then that message gets across to that um to that person and then from then he can perform that action from because he understood my message so it's something like that so it's a blockchain to block blockchain so so for example if i need to perform something on the arc blockchain on the ethereum blockchain a protocol must be be uh, embedded on the ethereum blockchain so that when i send the the send the 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 send the instruction okay it will be performed so that being said that's what arc does um currently now i think it's at 60 uh, million market cap small market cap by the way so be very very cautious about ARC and also why I like it the third the third uh, the third uh, is that it has uh, just recently been added to Ledger Nano S I'm still figuring out how to uh, use it okay because I think that's using my Ether wallet because nowadays I'm an old man guys so I use straightforward that means if I don't see it on the Ledger Nano S I usually don't really touch it so um, for ARC um, I'm a little bit more bullish. I'm going to be uh, building up more ARC reserves. Okay, so uh, of course, I, I, I picked up some at uh, the high. Okay, I picked up some at the high. I did not FOMO. I just looked at the charts and I felt, hey, okay. So I bought some at 29,500. Uh, 29, uh, 29, picked some up around here as well, around the 24,700 actually, 24,700. And now currently it's hovering around here. So it's fine, you know. Uh, that's less than 15% of my overall portfolio, less than, uh, maybe even 10%. So, you know, you can pick some up, uh, for ARC, you know, uh, if, if you, if you're interested in this project. Okay. Next, uh, will be, let's see, uh, Humanic. Now, Humanic has been taking a very, very big hit ever since, uh, you know, it's literally now not looking too good. Uh, I will not stay away from Humanic because Humanic is going to uh, make announcements for, uh, their beta app in August and you can consider looking at Humanic as well uh, currently now market cap it stands at if I remember correctly yeah so Humanic now this this market cap is extremely small it's 21.07 okay and uh, naturally you can buy some Humanic because Humanic performs uh, you know they reward you for certain tasks that you do all right and the whole concept is banking the unbank now of course they lost a lot of volume i mean 19 percent on a on a 21 million market cap is really quite harsh and uh i think their ico they raised um quite a bit of uh funds i think uh, maybe 15 million or so so they are quite close to when they started okay they, they are quite close to when they started so if you look at the charts uh humanic uh 
Okay, so you see where they started, all right? So it looks like, you know, it it looks like it could fall back down to around this level. So if it does, you know, pick some up, guys, okay? Human Egg is still a very young project, guys, okay? Very, very young project. Started on the 10th of May, 2017. So just bear in mind, there is a potential for delistings and so on and so forth, but I don't see Humanic ha you know, uh, having this kind of issue because it is be uh, it is traded. So nonetheless, always there, these are probably the IC pe people who are in the ICO. Uh, you know, they finally want to take profit. So this is probably uh, one of those reasons. And you see a huge take profit happen here. It's fine, no problem. I think at the end of the day, let's look at things from a perspective. Now, Ripple. Ripple has been getting owned as well uh, from the time that I recommended around the 10,000 Satoshis. Of course, take profits have occurred. Some who are still holding on. Uh, yeah, it's uh, below, but as you can see, it's still rather stable in a sense, right? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't move as much because it's more controlled because it's, it's uh, I think, 70% owned by, uh, owned by uh, the banks, right? In a way. So they are not gonna be moving up. Okay, they're not. Okay, look, let me let me let me correct myself. They are not owned by the banks. Okay, they use the private blockchain technology, which is Ripple tech, Ripple Labs, right? But they are not interested in Ripple tokens. So this is being supported by obviously other entities. But of course, yes, it did take a take a sell down as well. Next, we have Lumins. Lumins. Lumins, uh, no, no levels, guys. Uh, Lumins has been falling off the charts. Okay, uh, Lumins. I think if you decide to pick some up, it's gonna be like a ballsy move. All right, it's a ballsy move because it has fallen off the support level from when the thousand five satoshi support level. If you refer back to my videos again, thousand five satoshi level has fallen greatly, and it looks, it looks like you know it could easily just you know clear this whole bullish candle here and come back down to the lows very lightly it's just 50 percent more right so those i hope people are not invested heavily into lumens so just just be cautious now uh so ethereum litecoin bitcoin are the go-to now let's look at bitcoin itself how has btc been performing against usd okay this is usd tether of course um, yeah, okay, so as you can see, uh, it has formed a somewhat a support level about the support level currently is now at 2390. So those who are intending to buy some uh, BTC, 2390 is a, yeah, it's a good level to get into. All right, very, very close. It's now 2460. Uh, I've been selling uh, anywhere from two, uh, of course, I've been advising also uh, my private clients 2627. You know, if it doesn't hit 28, uh, 28 or 29, forget it. It doesn't seem to be reaching there. 2627, you can trade the range. So anywhere from 22, uh, anywhere from 2003, 2390 to 2600 would be the range. It's tightening up. It seems like it's, you know, consolidating. Um, obviously, it's still undecided what it needs to do, okay, because there's still that uncertainty there. So, uh, enter cautiously, buy cautiously, and see whether next week we can get some action. Obviously, the, the market, okay, based on experience, right, will recover from this bloodshed, all right? It's already starting to kind of like, you have some people who are buying, uh, who believe in the, the cheap cryptos, and they're already buying already. So, Look at all those cryptocurrencies that you have always wanted to buy. Today is that good day to buy. Now, of course, I don't cover uh, every single cryptocurrency, guys. Uh, but feel free to join me in my Telegram chat where, you know, you can uh, talk to the rest of the community, value add. And at the same time, you know, I will, I do, I do come in and uh, talk uh, almost every day chatting, giving my views about the market. Uh, it's a little bit more fast paced in there. So, you know, just feel free to download Telegram, join, and of course, if you're interested in private consultations, my email is in the description as well. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great weekend.